Stereos and Asaurus versus Giganotosaurus collection. I think you guys asked for it, so let's do it. Hey guys, I'm Dan, and so now we are actually at level two Jurassic World Midlands. So you guys have been asking me to do Giga versus Stereos and Asaurus collection. So let's go around the house, pick up all the different Gigars and the Stary figures, and um, do the video. Okay, so let's go. Okay, guys. So let's start off with. The level 3 colossal shelf, okay? So yeah, we do have a couple of um gigars in this um shelf right over here. We have the Papal one and we also have the Nanmu Studio one. So let me get this out first. Put this into the box. Okay, and um this gigar, I think that many of you guys have actually seen this like many times, but we'll still be putting this into the box. So in it goes. One Therizinosaurus from Papo right over here. So into the box. No gigars of Therry in this portion right here. So moving on over here, we do have one from Vite. Get this out into the box. This one is actually from Nanmu Studio into the box as well. One really beautiful one from um, W Dragon into the box as well. Moving down to the Schleich corner, we have won our very first Gigar in our entire collection into the box. And here we have a couple of Gigars right here as well. Let's get this juvenile Gigar into the box as well. We have three Fairy right over here. So this one is a juvenile version into the box too. Two more. These are actually the adult ones. Okay, let's get that into the box as well. Two huge adult gigars into the box too. Final two figures from level three. Two young giga um fairies. Okay, now we head over to the beautiful mini shelf to pick up our fairies and gigars, okay? First row, none. Second row, don't have as well. We do have one big gigar. Let me get this out. You know, this T-Rex would definitely want to hang out as well. So I'm just going to put the T-Rex over here first. Okay, moving over here, we do have the fairy. A mini figure, so this will go into the box as well. Beautiful figure. Moving down, yes, we have this two really beautiful six inch basic figures. They are beauty, a beauty. Moving down, I don't think we have any more. Yes, we have two more from Captive Collection Gigars. And we have a Fairy Sinosaurus, I think, right over here. And that's it. Oh my goodness. One figure drop into the box. What, what is it? It's actually a Brachiosaurus. Let me put this right back. Yes, we are done with the mini shelf. Let's move down to level two. Okay, now it's level two Jurassic World Midland shelf. My most favorite shelf in my entire house. Okay, so let's go. I think we only have one Gigar over here. I really love this shelf guys. I mean, you guys have actually told me to create like a carnivorous shelf just for Germanian figures. So yes, this area right here is actually for all the Jurassic World Dominion carnivores. So this one will go into the box. Next, we have, what is this called? Sound slashing Therizinosaurus into the box as well. Okay, next figure is actually this Gujitsu Gigar. I'm not a huge fan of this figure because it can stand, but yeah, we still have to show it. Next, let's get the minifigures. We have a Fairy and we have three Gigars. So this three Gigars will go into the box as well. Although they are actually repeats. Okay, next we enter our Godzilla room, our Godzilla mini room. We do have a um lego shelf so yeah check this out um let me turn on the lights where are the lights switch okay 
So we do have a Gigar from Lego. Let's get this out. Oops. And um, the Fairy right at the bottom. Okay, so we are ready to go. Let's go. Next, we enter the basement, Dano Dungeon, okay? I think this is like one of your most favorite rooms in the house or the most favorite shelf. We have a Fairy Xenosaurus from um, Imagine Next. So this will go into the box as well. Do we have any more Gigas here? Oh yes, we do have one, which is this XL Gigar. So this one will go into the box as well. We are going to um, move the Super Colossal Giga down as well, okay? But first, let's try to find more of Therese and Osaurus. This one is from Collecte, a nice figure. Let's see what else we've got. A beautiful Giga from Safari LTD. This will go into our video as well. Moving down. Yeah, we have this one, but I'm not a huge fan of this figure, to be honest with you. But we still have to show it because it is part of our collection. Moving down, I think we have one last one right here. This one. Okay, this is actually from Mojo. Oh, we also have this one. This is a cool one. Is that all? Yes, I think so. Okay guys, so now let's begin. I've actually placed these two gigantic figures on the table first because it will be more convenient. And have you guys seen this? This is basically the um, Mega, Mega Raw and Rumble, I think. Raw and Rumble um, Giganotosaurus from Imagine Next. It's a very, very cool one. It can actually vibrate and there's a button right here. Yeah, which will open up the jaw. Super cool. It's actually even bigger than the um, Super Colossal um, um, Gigar, which is really, really awesome. So these two are actually my most favorite gigantic dinosaurs. What about you guys? Let me know down below, okay? Next up, let's take a look at our biggest. Yes, this is our biggest Therizinosaurus. It is not like super gigantic, but this is the best that we can find, okay? The sound slashing Fairies and Asaurus. Really, really beautiful figure if you ask me. But it can't, I mean, it can't stand super well. I, I, I mean, it can, but sometimes it will slide down. And I feel that this figure, it's amazing. Have you guys, have you guys already scanned this in your text app? Okay, I mean, if not, you can actually pause the video and scan this in your text app, okay? Let me get my fax app. Maybe you can do a quick scan as well. Okay, I'm not sure if this will work because our connection is actually very bad in the basement, okay? And we're running out of battery as well. So let's see. Yeah, we're actually not connected to the um, internet at the moment because our basement Dungeon Dungeon connection is actually very, very weak. Let's just try this once more. Maybe it can still work. Who knows? Yeah, we can't work without, you know, the Wi-Fi. Yeah, we don't have Wi-Fi in the basement. Okay, so that is our Fairy. Um, let's put the Fairy here, just in case, okay? All right, let's move on. Another new figure. I'm just gonna show you guys the latest figures first. This is actually the XL Imagine Next Gigar. It actually has walls and lights, which is kind of cool. Check this out. Yeah. And if you listen to the roars, I think they are unique roars. They are not recycling the roars of, um, you know, the Indominus Rex or the T-Rex. Let me put this like, you know, right here. Okay, let's move on and take a look at a Fairy Zinosaurus figure. We do have one which is, I mean, relatively bigger than the rest. Do you guys know what does Fairy Zinosaurus mean? It means the scythed lizard because the claws are actually like scythes. Scythes as in knives, okay? So check this out. Really, really beautiful one. This is actually from Imagine Next as well. Let me take my, um, my book of dinosaurs. I think it's right here. Let me show you guys some facts about G 
Gigar and also Fairy. Okay, so let's go. This out, guys, a beautiful illustration of the Fairies and the Sorrows, but the, you can see the claws and this illustration is actually not very accurate. The claws are actually kind of um small. So, so I actually discovered it in Mongolia's and Omnivore. It means that it basically feed on insects and also plants. Scythe lizard because of the huge sickle-like claws. Very nice, okay? So let's take a look at another Giga figure. This one is a very, very cool one. This is actually known as the um, Sound Search Giga. And speaking of Giga Sound Search, um, I was actually thinking of getting this to do a repaint, but I thought maybe let's wait for the Raw and Strike Giga. I think that is better. Very cool. I, I would say that this is actually a medium sized figure. It's not a huge one. It is not like, you know, the Destroy and Devour um, um, Indominus Rex or the Thrash and Devour, you know, T Rex. Okay, so let's proceed to our next Therizinosaurus figure. Um, do we have more from. Okay, let's pick up all the large ones first, okay? This one is actually a very beautiful one from Schleich, okay? We have two of them, of the exact same sculpt, but with in a different paint scheme. Let me show you guys. Okay, this one was actually my first Therizinosaurus figure ever in the entire collection of Dan Surprise. Okay, very very beautiful as well. Okay, next up, let's take a look at more Gigars. How about the one from Lego? I think this one is a really beautiful Gigar. Yep. This one is actually from the latest Lego Jurassic World Dominion set. I can't remember the name of the set, but this one looks pretty amazing. I love the body, but I don't like the head sculpt because they actually use the exact same head sculpt as the Indominus Rex. But some of you may actually argue because the reason why it is using the exact same head sculpt as the Indominus Rex because it actually has the DNA. I mean, the Indominus Rex actually has the DNA of um, the Gigar. But I feel that is not an excuse. <laughs> okay, so let's proceed to our next Therizinosaurus figure. This is the Jurassic World Dominion Therizinosaurus. You can see, very beautiful claws. Very long. Yep, let's put this right over here. Wow, we have a couple of really cool Therizinosaurus. I think it will be awesome if we are able to get like a super gigantic, super colossal Therizinosaurus. I think that would be awesome. What do you guys think? Alright, next up, let's take a look at this minifigures. We need to display some minifigures on the table as well. We have the one from Jurassic World Dominion Mattel blind boxes. Not blind bags, but blind boxes. We have a couple of them, in fact, same one. You know, Gigar is slowly, slowly becoming one of my most favorite dinosaurs of all time. I mean, if you guys ask me which one is my most favorite dinosaur, it will always be T-Rex. My love for T-Rex will never die, but I love the Gigar right now as well. What about you guys? I want to hear from you. Like, who's the most favorite carnivore? Okay, we have another one, exact same one. Okay. All right, let's pick up the um, Therizinosaurus. This one is a pretty cool one. Have you guys seen this before? This is actually a pop and lock um, Therizinosaurus from um, Captive. Toy Monster Captive Collection. Very, very beautiful um, figure. All right, moving on. Another Gigar. This one is actually different from, you know, the Mattel Blind Box Gigar. This is actually a 6 inch basic figure. Alright, I'll put this right over here. It looks super amazing. Alright, um, let's pick up another fairy. So, this one is also the um, 6 inch basic figure of the fairies and the Really, really beautiful when it comes to the paint scheme. You can see there are a mix of colors. You can see like a turquoise color. I think this is like dark blue. We have a bit of maroon at the top. Yep, looks really, really beautiful. The eyes are actually painted in yellow or rather like golden paint. Very beautiful. Okay, let's have a look at other stuff. And this one is a minifigure. This one, it's a, um, 
yeah, it's from the blind box. It's really beautiful. You can see it's made of soft rubber. It can't stand super well, but it is still uh, a very, very amazing figure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's move on. We have two more. These two are pretty amazing figures. Check, the, check them out. This is actually a metallic Gigar. Looks really beautiful from Captive Toy Monster. And this one, it's a... What is, what, what is this? This is like the normal version. But I think this figure of mine, it can stand very well. If you put it, it keeps falling over. Oh, it's standing perfectly well at the moment. Yeah, I, I tend to rotate the tail to the other side so that it will provide more balance because it keeps falling over here. So if you tilt the tail, if you tilt the tail pointing to the um, left, it will make it more balanced. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Okay, let's move on and take a look at other figures. I think one of our last Jurassic World Dominion figures is actually this one. This one, um, the Gujitsu, Gujitsu Gigar. Yeah, really, really cute and adorable figure. The problem with this figure is that it has very, very soft legs, which is why it can't stand. So the moment you put it on the table, and if you let go of your hands, it will just fall over. I mean, I'm not talking about this, I'm talking about this. <laughs> but this one is also falling over at the same time. Let's try. Yeah. It keeps lying down. Let's just put it lying down. Take a rest. Okay? Let's move on. <clears throat> Let's move on and take a look at another Therizinosaurus figure. Okay, I mean, to be honest, we don't have a huge collection of Therizinosaurus figure. This one is more of a realistic um, figure. But you can see the claws are really long, which I really like. So this is a Collecte Therizinosaurus. Okay? A 2012 figure, kind of um old, it's like 10 years ago, a decade old. Next, let's take a look at some non-Jurassic World, you know, Giga figures. We have a, we need to remove this actually. Let me get my pair of scissors. Let's do some mini unboxing. Okay, not exactly unboxing, but we need to remove this tag right here. Alright, there you go. So this is actually a Gigar. Um, I think among all the different Schleich figures, I think this is the one which I feel needs more improvement. This was my very first Gigar from Schleich. In fact, it is actually my first Giganotosaurus figure. Yep, ever. Okay, and speaking of Gigar, oh yes! I have yet to share the facts with you guys in um, this book, so let's find the information about Gigar right here. Oh. I'm quite shocked and surprised that there's no Gigar in this little book of dinosaurs, but that is fine, okay? So let's move on and take a look at the next figure. This is actually a juvenile Gigar, and as you guys can see, this figure looks like the baby of, um, you know, this Schleich Gigar. Beautiful Gigar indeed. Okay, let's move on. Another one from Schleich. Um, so you can see, Schleich seems to be a huge fan of Gigars. So we have a total of like one, two, three, four. Four Gigars from Schleich so far. I think there's one more if I'm not wrong. Okay, let's move on. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys another one. This Gigar is actually one of my most favorite in my collection. It is not the best in terms of the quality, but I like the sculpt and I love the colors. And you guys know that this is actually sculpted based on a dinosaur book, which is known as DK Book of Dinosaurs. I think I've repeated this like so many times. Maybe some of you guys are already tired of it. Okay, uh, let's take a look at a Therizinosaurus. We have one from Peppo. This is a beautiful figure. Um, yeah, I think this figure, in terms of the quality, it is really, really awesome. You can see high level of detailing is done. The paint scheme on this figure is amazing. You can see a mix of brown, a mix of gray, there's a bit of green as well. Amazing paint scheme. Love this a lot. But this figure, you can see it is like, 
leaning towards one side yeah i think i need to fix this figure like really soon maybe use some hot water to heat it up and um yeah and bend the legs accordingly all right let's move on and take a look at other figures we have we have two more fairy dinosaurs these are also from schlag they are like mini figures okay let's put this right over here i think we got these two figures from a boxed set from schlag which is kind of cool we have a lot more gigars this is actually from um, safari ltd i think in few months to come we will not be able to do like a giga collection that includes gigas outside of jurassic world figures yeah maybe not okay and this one is actually from mojo okay it's a huge one i think in terms of the quality it is quite a high quality figure but um the sculpt looks a little bit weird but the paint scheme is actually quite spot on yeah they have painted this with a lot of effort um you can see it in um you know the finishing all right the next one okay not a huge fan of this figure i mean i have to be honest with you because the face looks kind of weird the paint scheme is a bit you know it's not very well done you can see like smudges going on in the eyes so yeah i think in terms of um collectability this one is definitely not one of my most favorite for sure but yeah it is what it is and it can't stand as well <laughs> check this out yeah it can't stand very well it can't stand at all in fact it keeps falling over just gonna put this right here first okay we are left with just a couple of more um figures oh we still have one more therizinosaurus this is a juvenile therizinosaurus from schleck beautiful one and a small little figure we have two of this you know really awesome therizinosaurus minifigures from mattel put them right here okay next it's i'm gonna show you guys a very high quality giga figure i don't think we have um enough space to put put this on the table so i'm just gonna show it you guys this way from Nan Moon Studio. In fact, we have two different figures of this. This one is what I call the um, Magenta Gigar because it has a tint of purple to it. Yeah, the other one is actually a red, a red Gigar, which I didn't bring. This one is from W Dragon, really beautiful one. You can see one side, one side actually spots a healthy eye okay the other side is a blinded eye visually impaired and you can see a scar across this eye right here so probably it had a it had a battle with um, another dinosaur and um, got its eye blinded by the um, other ferocious carnivore yeah it's most likely a carnivore i mean it could be a herbivore who knows and another one, this one is actually from PNSO, beautiful one. I think this figure is awesome, but the lower jaw, this portion seems to be a bit too long for my liking. But overall, it is a brilliant figure. And um, yeah, this one is from Peppo, one of the very controversial figures out there because of um, the pose. You can see it has a very alien like neck which is like kind of bent and um yeah it is just a very it's such a waste because Papo they are known for producing excellent figures in fact it is one of my most favorite brands i won't miss a single figure from Papo, okay whereas um you know from pnso i don't mind missing figures from them but i don't miss figures from Peppo or Nanmu Studio at all because these two are basically my most favorite brands and this is actually from Vite I think yeah I mean they came up with this figure and they shown us that they are one of the um, up and coming manufacturers but after this figure everything seems to be going downhill yeah okay um yeah I think that's about it guys so this is basically 
mine collection of um Gigars and Therizinosaurus at the moment. Oh, we still have the Funko Pops, guys. We have this gigantic Funko Pop Gigar. We also have the um, Therizinosaurus right over here and the smaller Gigar. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going through my room to see whether we have um, missed up any more Gigars. Oh, yes, guys. This one, the plush figure. Have you guys seen this? Really adorable. <laughs> okay, so yep, I don't think we have more of that. We, I mean, we do have another mini figure right here, and that's about it, guys. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this. I want you guys to comment down below what other collection videos you guys want me to make. I mean, don't suggest like atrocity raptors because we barely have any of them we have like less than five or trusty raptors in total i feel you know i think pyro raptor wouldn't be possible as well yeah but give us more time we should be able to do like a trusty raptors and pyro raptors soon okay um yeah i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye